वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वे लर्न अबाउट लिनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स पार्ट फोर इन हुईज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इक्वेशंस ऑफ लाइंस पैरेलल टू एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस बिफोर दिस व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड लेट्स सी वी हैव लर्न सॉल्यूशन ऑफ लिनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स Here we studied that when we find the solution of linear equation in two variables, we have infinitely many solutions. For a specific value of x, we can have a specific value of specific value of y. But for several values of x, we can have several values of y. So we can have order pair. and infinitely many order pairs as solution of linear equation in two variables now and also we have learned how to plot the graph of solution of linear equation in two variables now see how to plot we have discussed and we have to put the solutions as points on the graph and join those points and what do we get we got the uh, equation the graph of the equation linear equation as straight line today we learn about the uh, equation of x axis and y axis let's see where the points 2 0 -3 0 4 0 and n 0 lie for any real number n in the cartesian plane now see if we plot these points on this graph what do we see see 2 0 is a point on x axis then minus 3 0 is also on x axis and see 4 0 is also lies on x axis from this we can conclude that they all lie on the x axis but why why do they lie on x axis because on the x axis the y coordinates of each point is zero you see in y axis x coordinates are zero and in x axis y coordinates are zero so we can say that all these points of the form n 0 where n is real number lies on x axis then every point on the x axis we can say that they are of the form x 0 now what will be the equation of x axis you see for any point on x axis it is of form x comma 0 that means what is 0 0 is y coordinate so we can say that y is equal to 0 that is the equation the equation of the x axis but here it is a e equation in one variable so how to express it in equation in two variables we can write like this 0 into x plus 1 into y is equal to 0 you see in left side the whatever you value you put for x you will see the x term will become 0 and y is equal to 0 is the result so the equation of the x axis is y is equal to 0 now let's have a look at the points 0 to 0 minus 3 0 4 and 0 n for any real number n lie in the cartesian plane where to find 
let's plot the point 0 2 see 0 2 point is on y axis and where is 0 minus 3 0 minus 3 also lies on y axis and 0 4 also lies on y axis so the equation of the y axis is given by x equal to 0 because in y axis x is always 0 whatever be the value of y b now every point on the y axis is the is of the form 0 y and we can write it in equation in two variables as 1x plus 0 into y is equal to 0. Let's have a look at this type of equation that is x minus 2 equal to 0. Now you can see that this is an equation in one variable that is of x only. Then it has only one solution or unique solution that is x equal to 2. And if we plot the, if we geometrically represent it, we can get a, a point on a number line. But this equation can also be treated in the form of linear equation in two variable. And what is the form? The form is uh, x plus 0 0.y minus 2 equal to 0. As this is a equation in two variables, so this must have infinitely many solutions. As this has infinitely many solutions, they all are of the form 2r, where r is any real number. So, r is the coordinate of uh, y x in uh, y axis. So, r is any real number that means x is fixed. What is that fixed value? Its value is 2. So, also you can check that every point of the form 2r is a solution of this equation. Let us have a look at the graph of this equation. See 2 and 2 that satisfies this equation at 2 is x is 2 and value of y is also 2. Now see value of x is 2 and value of y is 3. That means whatever be the value of y x is always 2 here. So, is it a linear equation? Let us have the graph of this equation. This is a straight line a b that passes through 2 of x uh, axis. So, if we take any point on this uh, line that is of form, which form? See, it is 2 minus 1. This point is 2 minus 1. That means again any point on this line is of 2 r. Here r is minus 1. So, as we studied this is the case. So, what is the value of x if the value of y is minus 5 in this graph? If the value of y is minus 5 as we learnt just that in this graph x will always be 2. So, the point is here 2 minus 5. So, x is always be 2. Now, let us have another question here. What is the value of y if the value of x is minus 5 in this graph? Read the question carefully. What is the value of y 
if the value of x is minus 5 in this graph. As you learn that in this graph, the value of x will always be 2. So, it is not possible to have the value of x as minus 5 in this graph. So, as x is not possible, so no such, no such y is also possible. Okay? So, as an equation in two variables, x minus 2 equal to 0 is represented by the line a b in the graph and note that the graph of a b is a line and that line is parallel to y axis because it is always at a distance of 2 units to the right of it. So, wherever you find the distance it is always 2 uh, units away from the y axis. Why? Because x is everywhere 2 in this line. What is the nature of the graph of the equation x plus 2 equal to 0 in two variables? So, in last question, we studied about the nature of graph x minus 2 equal to 0. Now, let us study the nature of the uh, equation, graph of the equation x plus 2 equal to 0 in two variables. The graph a b is a line parallel to the y axis and at a distance of 2 units to the left of it in our common sense. Why? Because x is equal to minus 2 for any value of y. So, that the point on this line will be of form minus 2 r for any real value of r. Now, see have a look at the graph. The point here is minus 2 4 and let us have another point that is minus 2 3. That means, x is equal to minus 2 here. So, we can have a have the graph of this uh, this equation and another point is minus 2 2. So, the line through these three points is a b. Now, this is the point minus 2 minus 1 as the value of y changes, but the value of x remains same that is minus 2. So, from top to bottom you can see that the value of x is always minus 2 that is this line is 2 units away towards the left of the y axis. So, what is the value of x if the value of y is 7 in this graph? You see what is the value of y as we learnt in this case x will always be minus 2. So, the value will be minus 2 and what is the value of y if the value of x is uh, minus 5 in this graph again we can say that we can have no such value of y as x is always minus 2 x cannot be minus 5. So, we cannot have such value of y. Now, consider another equation that is y minus 3 is equal to 0. If this is treated as an equation in one variable uh, y only, then it has the unique solution y is equal to 3 which is a point on the number line. Okay? Now, if this is uh, a equation, this is an equation in two variables, then we can express it as 0 point x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. This has 
infinitely many solution as it is equation in two variable so the uh, solutions can be in the form k3 where k is any real number also we can check that every point of the form k3 is also a solution of this equation let's have a look at the uh, points on the graph minus 4 3 minus 3 3 minus 2 3 2 3 in all these points 3 is common that is 3 so the this is the straight line ab that satisfies the equation y is equal to 3 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. So, this is a graph parallel to x axis. Now, I have a question on this. What is the value of y if the value of x is 5 in this graph? Here, whatever be the value of x, the value of y will always be 3. So, if the value of x is 5 in this graph, value of y will be 3. Let us have another, uh, have another question. What is the value of x if the value of y is minus 5 in this graph? Again, we can say that as x is, as y is always minus 5 in this graph so y cannot be minus 5 so we cannot have any such value of x for which y is minus 5 so as an equation in two variable y minus 3 equal to 0 is represented by the line ab in the graph and note that this graph AB is a line parallel to the X axis and at a distance of 3 units to the upward of it that is of X axis. Now have a look to this question. What is the geometric representation of Y is equal to 3 as an equation? Okay? So, if we consider this is an equation in one variable as we learned today that this is uh, a unique solution y equal to 3, this has unique solution that is 3 and the graph is geometrical representation means graph, graph of this can be a point on a number line. And in two variables, this is uh, a line parallel to x axis and three units above the origin as y is equal to 3. Let us have another question. What is the geometric representation of 2x plus 9 equal to 0 as an equation? In one variable and in two variable. Now, the geometric representation of 2x plus 9 equal to 0 as an equation in one variable is a point on number line to the left of the origin. Why? If we solve this, we can see that value of x is equal to minus 9 by 2. As the point minus 9 by 2 lies to the left of the origin. So, we can say that this, this is a point to the left of the origin. And if we consider it as in two variables is a line parallel to y axis because it is in the form x is equal to minus 9 by 2. Wherever uh, everywhere the value of x is minus 9 by 2 and whatever be the value of y 
as we learnt. So, it will be to the left of the y axis by 9 by 2 units from the origin. So, in this chapter we learnt that the equation of uh, two, the linear equation in two variables where we can have the uh, we can have infinitely many solutions and by plotting those solutions on a graph paper we will get a straight line. So, the equation linear equation in two variables is named as linear equation and any line which is parallel to x axis it will have y as a constant the equation is y is equal to some k that equation represents the line parallel to x axis. Similarly, any equation of the form x is equal to k represents a line parallel to y axis. So, dear students, today we learnt these things. Today, this is the time now. Now, let us stop it here. Thank you.